Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world, as this video is being released. Um, I'm setting the intention for August 11th, but it might not be August 11th where you are right now, or you might see this video in a few weeks or a few months. So we're setting the intention that this be a message for your next 24 hours whenever you happen to see the video. Happy birthday to the August 11th babies. Happy birthday to the birthdays I missed um, in the last couple of days that I've been uh, uh, taking in some time for rest and recovery here. I'll give you guys an update at the end, but we're gonna jump in here and see what message we have. Ooh, Ace of Cups, yes please. We have Ace of Cups as the card of the day today. Now, Ace of Cups, a lot of you already know the traditional meanings of the cards because a lot of you are pretty much already, you know, following tarot for a while or uh, like you, you watch tarot videos and stuff. But traditionally, Ace of Cups, it, it can be a new home, like a, a, a home where you really feel at home, you're really comfortable you're really content so this could be manifesting a new home so a lot of you may be manifesting uh, a new home um, uh, creativity some of you may be experiencing an increase in creativity um, it could be rewarding fulfilling satisfying work like uh, working or making a living doing something that uh, brings a lot of contentment and joy to your heart. It's one of the cards that's considered a true love card. This could be true love, uh, your like life soulmates, like uh, life partner kind of energy. And so this could be something that some of you may be stepping into or manifesting at this time. Keep in mind, August 11th is a full moon, okay? And so for some people, sometimes the full moon can bring up a lot of intense emotions and feelings. And so some of you may be having a really big release so that you're opening up to receive what's coming in. So some of you might uh, feel the heart chakra opening up. You might have things that you're releasing or feeling sentimental or emotional about. And this is a part of your clearing and making room for these, uh, this Ace of Cup energy these happy new experiences that are coming your way with the ace of cups also this has a really special meaning in my readings i've said this before in a lot of the youtube videos over the years reading for people one of the things i've realized is the ace of cups in my readings comes up a lot of the times when the person i'm reading for is breaking out of uh what some people refer to as generational curses uh, blocks, uh, inherited, low vibrational energies, um, cycles or patterns that we have learned or picked up, right? Like we saw dysfunction and then we, re we, re we repeat that dysfunction in our life. Like when I see the Ace of Cups, you're breaking out of all that. And a lot of it is because you're having a moment where, or you, you, you have a moment and you're like, enough is enough. I'm sick of this. It's the same thing all the time, again and again and again. No matter how many times I change jobs, they treat me like crap, they pay me pennies. No matter how many times I set boundaries with friends who are gossiping or backstabby or not respectful, I set boundaries, I end those friendships, I make new friends and they're doing the same thing. Or no matter how many times I leave an unhealthy romantic relationship, I'm over the moon to find somebody new and then they're doing the right same thing to me as the people from before. And we're like, I'm sick and tired of the same thing again and again and again. And I refuse to put up with it anymore. You're like, look, universe, I'm not doing this. I see what the red flags are. I see what all of these situations have in common. And the next time I encounter it, I'm going to spot it from a mile away. I'm going to know immediately and I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to make room in my life for it because I'm sick of suffering. And I refuse and I, I demand to be happy. I'm going to be happy, you know, in my life for, for the remainder of my life. So the universe is like awesome, wonderful. Now you're awake. You're alert. You're awake. Your eyes are open. 
you no longer need these dis uh, uh, uncomfortable situations to poke you to wake up. Now you're awake and you're ready to learn through passion, joy, support, friendship, love, romance, creativity, accomplishment, inspiration, adventure. Now you're ready to learn your lessons in a way that are enjoyable instead of learning in a way that is painful, right? Uh, a lot of us come from that school of hard knocks. And so you don't need to learn that way anymore. The way that you're going to be learning is changing. And I've said this before when the Ace of Cups comes up. It's the same thing as in school. There's some teachers, all the kids dread and they're, please, God, please, oh, dear God, don't let me be in that teacher's class this year. And there's some teachers, all the kids are like, oh, I hope I get to be in that class this year. It's the same age group. It's the same subject. It's the same information. One teacher makes it unbearable and one teacher makes it fun and exciting. So a lot of the times they see the Ace of Cups, it's like you get to go and be in the fun class now. You get to have the fun teacher now instead of the teacher that's just going to cause you anguish and misery, you know. And so there could be a really powerful shift within yourself for a lot of you over the next 24 hours where you're feeling this. And for some of you, it's as simple as feeling fed up and just being like enough is enough. Enough is enough and uh, opening up to receive this Ace of Cups energy here. But Ace of Cups is just abundance of every good thing, you know, just happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment. Um, those of you who are on a sp uh, spiritual path or intuitive path, you may also be experiencing a lot of bursts in creativity. Um, I know that happened for me a lot uh, in the beginning of my journey uh, you know, growing up, my, my brothers are amazing artists. And I just thought, well, they they got that amazing artist gene. You know, I, I don't have it. They got it. And then as my intuition started to uh, increase, I started to discover talents I didn't know that I had. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I guess this is like a talent I can work on or I can explore. And um, it, it'll be very helpful for you. And I need to take this advice for myself because I, I don't do it enough. Set aside time to be in that creativity. Don't see it as frivolous. Don't see it as, oh, there's more important things I need to do, right? Like my goal in life isn't to be a painter. Uh, therefore, I should focus my time and energy on doing other things, even though I kind of enjoy painting and I'm not bad at it, right? But you might say, well, let me not do that because it's frivolous. Let me not do that because... It's not meeting the ultimate goal. It's going to do a lot for you in strengthening your intuition because intuition and creativity go hand in hand. It's also going to do a lot for you in terms of your healing, your release. It is a form of meditation. It's a form of channeling. You may find that in that process you have really big ideas, really big epiphanies. And so if there is something creative and you're feeling called to it, make sure that you're setting aside the time to do it. Because this also has a lot to do with you raising your vibration, healing. Uh, as I said, it's a form of meditation. It's a form of a, a, a way in which we're able to download information from spirit, from God, from heaven, you know, what, however you want to label that. Uh, as far as uh, the daily message, that's what we have here today. Uh, update on me um, I am very uh, <laughs> relieved um, I had to go back into the ER and I've, I've not been well but I ended up uh, figuring out what is wrong with uh, with me right now and um, I kind of had to laugh I kind of had to chuckle about it but uh, it's it's good because now I have to slow down right I have to take care of myself better. I have to take my own advice and I can't be working all the time and pushing all the time. Um, and I look forward to uh, just being healthier and uh, uh, being able to keep being here for you guys. I thank you for your kind words, kind uh, comments, kind messages. 
uh, and I thank you for um, just you know your, your your generosity. A lot of you have been very kind, and you you're helping me a lot. I am gonna have uh, you know things that are gonna be coming up here because of the car accident. So I thank you so very much. Those of you who've been helpful and uh, been able to give and be generous. And if you didn't give, I'm still grateful for you because I know that um, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be here without you guys. And I thank you for receiving the message. And um, I pray that everybody be blessed and that we all get through whatever we're going through and that we all receive what we need. So I thank all of you who have been so very supportive, so very generous. And I will see you all in tomorrow's message. Take care and be well, my dears.